If you think I'm not gonna press F11 to change these fields up, you are out of your mind. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Pennsylvania. Today we are getting some field work done. What do we need to start with? Well, what we need to do is we need to plow the fields. At least get that done. We could also use this bad boy right here. You know what? I think we're gonna use this first. Let's get a little spin. Yep, that's that's exactly how you do it. Come on, baby. Let's go and lock those dips up a little bit. Yikes, so I did change up the wheels. You guys probably see these different from what we had yesterday. Uh, the ones we had yesterday were a little bit rough. Not gonna lie. Uh, they were very difficult to drive around here, especially here on the mud, or the, uh, this is, the, the, <clears throat> that's not the first time that's happened. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this thing. This four, oh, and we're sliding. Yeah, this four wheeler is not happy about anything. <laughs> that has to do with anything and we gotta all right slow down break turn nice and easy let's go get this bad boy unfolded this would work great if i didn't have realistic mods turned on but unfortunately i'm an idiot all right and i don't know what to use how to use this thing either let's uh put it down okay guess we're not gonna do that uh we're just gonna leave it where it is how about that yeah it's doing real good there uh and we want to take soil sample so let's Poker head here. Got our soil sample taken. And got it. How did I do that? Well, J Turk taught me how. So if you want to know, ask him. <laughs> that was a line of code. I think it's like 32 and a half, something like that. So what I did was I just changed it to like 5,000. And it does the whole map for me, which is perfect. So uh, let's go ahead and send those soil samples off to be analyzed. And hopefully soon. We will know exactly what's going on there. So if we want to do that, we definitely need to increase our time. So let's change our time to plus one. All right, let's get this thing put away. Oops, soil samples already done. Soil samples are already done. So now here's what we got to do. What we need to do is, oh, yikes. Oh no, we, man, this thing is so dangerous. This is why mama, mama DJ, mama said, uh, don't drive four wheelers because you'll flip them in the game. She was right. Let's just put that away. There we go. Let, let's get out of there. Let's get some work done in the fields. How's about that? We need to at least get some stuff cultivated, if not plowed. Um, I would say the cultivated is probably going to be the best bet for us. So here's how we're going to do that. Currently, we're in field 46. 46 should, hypothetically, should have its own, uh, own little get-together there. So let's go in. Let's find. We're on 46. We'll have to change that back over. We're in here in cultivated state. So we're going to leave that on cultivated. Fertilizing off. That's totally fine. We don't need that. Plow state on. Lime state. Well, we'll leave that off. It doesn't really matter. Change that. Boom. Now, all we have to do is come in here and take a look and see how that did for us. We've got a little bit of areas that need plowing around, but nothing too crazy. And we want to do this exact same thing to all the rest of the fields as well. So I uh, filled 45, 44, and 24 as well. So, we need to double check. Plow state on. Lime state, eh. It could be lime state, but it's not going to matter, is it? 45, click it. 44, click it. How's it turned out for us? Not bad. That did, a, that did a lot. Yeah, man. All right, and then 24. Should we try to drive the four-wheeler over there? I kind of want to try to drive this over there just to see myself crash again. Let's, let's put the Asteria Scout right there. All right. Please crash, please crash, please crash. Also, there's a barn back there that you could do like some sweet barn find vids. That's all I'm saying. Oh, turns up here on the left. I've really got to learn my way around through here. This is a very cool map, but I feel awful because I still haven't learned my way around and we've only got a little bit to deal with. Plus, we got a whole lot that we're going to be doing later on as well. We will be buying up uh, other parts of the map, including the main farms. So we will be buying that. And we just got so much cool stuff. I'm so excited about the things that we've got planned for this map. Very, very exciting stuff. Let's go in here. Field 24 cultivated plow stayed on. We can turn that off again, but it's not going to matter, is it? Nope. And then we'll check it. See this? Man, I tell you what. He did such a good job. Look at all this stuff over here that needs to be plowed up. It's like, Arr. yeah. All right. So now, oh boy. Oh, don't do, don't, don't do this. To, don't do this to DJ right now. For real, 
Can we have F9 out of this? No, we can't. Man. Just... Yay. Hit the cart. Oh, so close. What we need to do now is we need lime. So we're going to need... To... Ooh, that was almost close. We need lime so that we could get all of these fields kind of to the correct stage. Uh, I think we're going to use the T6, so the smaller tractor for everything. I'm going to turn our turn signal on there. Hey, look at look at me using using turn signals and stuff. All right, uh, let's hang a left right through here. Here's a nice little uh, shortcut that I found. Don't look, don't look, don't look. Just go, yay! All right. Here's another thing we're going to do as well. I think, and we'll we'll have to take another soil sample reading, but. We've got some uh, fields right here. We have two, just one. Basically, it's one big field, but it's that whole field area right there. We've got that whole section. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that, yay, and plow it up. That's a good idea. All right, let's jump in the new Holland here. Let's grab our fertilizer. And we may even need a weight for the front of this just to keep it on the ground. The weight has been purchased. Let's see, is this gonna be any good? How's this gonna look? I'm trying to go with kind of tacky equipment, but that still looks decent together. So we got the yellow on there with the side. It's a little much, but I think it'll work okay. Plus we've got a three point on there as well. It looks pretty good. That'll keep at least the front of this bad boy on the ground because it's definitely gonna need it. All right, let's head up here. Let's go across the road and we are going to get ourselves some lime. Now I think the stations on here give you like free lime seed fertilizer, all that good stuff. Should be right here around the corner. Yep, right here it is. I think. I can't confirm. Uh, open cover? I don't know why I have to do that. Lime, there we go. Uh, you know, it's costing money, but it's not too bad. 9,000 liters for 1,600 bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's go and activate automatic application rate. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow this to put it down on the field at a, an active rate. Yep, that's exactly how that works. Again, if you're curious about the equipment they're using, check out yesterday's video as we talked about it all there. Uh, ooh, let's go ahead and unlock the diffs. One thing I want to try and do, let me know if you guys like this. So I use the um, like advanced vehicle control, something like that. I'm going to try to use it only in the fields. So let's come over here. We'll kind of get spread open situated a little bit oh don't get stuck boys don't get stuck turn that on that should allow us to move just a little bit better all right now we turn on automatic application rate and we're looking pretty good we're a little bit far out from the side but we're looking pretty good let's go ahead and free this up uh this is taking its toll on this a little bit <laughs> I don't think it likes it too much. We'll go to about nine miles per hour. This might be a little bit too big of a job for this tractor right here. I was hoping it was gonna be okay, you know, with the the cultivation state and everything, hoping that it would be all right. But man, this this might be a little bit tougher than, than we expected it to be. I think it'll be okay, but we'll see. Anyway, all right. So let's hit uh, as much of this field as we possibly can. We'll jump back in here when we're done. Uh, because we got like three more fields to hit. Man, we're not even halfway done with this field yet. I was gonna let you know, I think I know why this is so difficult. So if we turn everything on, uh, oh boy, go, 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 go. You could see that the, uh, that this thing, it's actually wet. Like the ground's showing wet. Now I have uh, crop moisture turned off, so that really shouldn't be affecting too much here. As you can see, crop moisture's turned off. However, it is really taking a toll on the wheels right now. These guys, so I, I went back and kind of rechecked what I did with the last series that we did similar to this. Man, I'll tell you what, the uh, the update to this is killing. You can see the front wheels are digging in. It's cool, you know, it's all right. Plus, yeah, I'm trying to use more, not realistic mods, but you know, having a little bit of fun using some realism mods, things like that. But this is, this is taking it to a whole nother level for sure. We have officially struggle bust through one and here we go. Struggle busting through the next one. Yay! <laughs> Only three more fields to go, but we do have field 24 done. So that is great news right there. Um, 
None of none of that looks right. I don't. Is that one hundred percent? Maybe. Man, I don't know. It's showing the oh nitro and pH value. pH is is what we're looking for here. I don't know. That doesn't look quite right to me. Does that look quite right to y'all? Let's go ahead and start putting stuff on here. Well, this is showing all right. Eh, whatever. All right, let's let's just keep going. So we got one field left to do right here. I have gone ahead and turned off that added realism for vehicles mod. I've got the one where it adds like mud and stuff everywhere, but man, I tell you what, <laughs> that mod's kicking my butt. So I am going to do that thing where I don't have that mod installed maybe for the rest of this uh, gameplay series. Something like that. We have everything else turned on, just not that one. I mean, you saw we were struggling to hit like 10 miles an hour. And look how fast we're going right now. And now I have the speed unlocked, so there is that. But, man, it's so much easier. <laughs> it's so much easier. Like, I was sitting there like, all right, I'm going to do like one pass, and then I'm going to cheat. And I'm going to use a bunch of crazy, like, modded stuff to get the fields done. I'll jump back in because it's taking forever. And, like, I even tried it with the other new Holland, which, to be fair, ain't got a lot of power itself. So, yeah, that that didn't happen neither. <laughs> uh, looks like we're going to be getting down here, maybe down to the end, and we're going to need to go refill. We don't need a whole lot, but we are going to need to refill again, so let's go ahead and stop right there. We'll go ahead and fold this bad boy up. We'll bring it in. There we go. Looking good, man. Looking good. I do love this map. This is a nice map. Let's go ahead and turn, turn that HUD off. We don't need that right now. Uh, yeah, we turn left right here. We'll come in here again. We've got a great spot right here. We can buy a whole lot of stuff. Plus, um, I think this is actually on our land. Is that on our land? Yes. So this shop is technically ours. We should be using. Why am I not using this? <laughs> we need to. We need to move all of our stuff. That's gonna fill it up. I didn't even think about that. Whatever. I did uh, drop down to fifty thousand dollars. By the way. So you see we're down to 43 grand now. Yeah, well, I bought a weight, but yeah, we'll go ahead and cheat and come through here. I did buy a weight. However, that is the money that we got. I was like, you know what? I've got everything I need. 50 grand should be more than enough to get us to, from point A to point B exactly how we need. So I don't know. I mean, most people start with 100. I just felt like 100 may be too easy. Maybe we're going a little too easy on ourselves. So I figured uh, 50 that would definitely give us what we needed. I think it'll be just fine. Yeah, you can tell the weight's a little bit much on this, but that's okay. This will be our lime spreader because we have precision farming installed. Uh, basically every year we're gonna have to put lime down. So I figured, well, why don't we just have one spreader for it and be done with it? We are using the same one that we're using over on Griffin, Indiana. So if you're familiar with that one, nope, that's the one we're using here. The one from Holga Sandstock. I gave us like TM mods or TF mods 2020, something like that. Um, that's Holga Sandstock. Uh, you probably heard Mr. Silly P talk a lot about those guys as well. They're really cool. So uh, we're pretty much done through here. Our next step is planting. Yes, it's gonna take a little bit of time. And yes, we still need to figure out what we're gonna plan because I don't even know what we're gonna put in the ground yet. I know, uh, well, we don't need straw. The sheep won't need straw. Um, let's see if we can come in here. Well, no sheep husbandry. So all they need is water and then grass, basically. That's it. So we're not even gonna worry about oats, I don't think, the first year. I think we're going to do a canola harvest and then we'll do a uh, money bean harvest and that's going to be it plus a grass harvest because I want to get some grass so that in year two we go ahead and get some sheep we'll get them uh, we'll buy them at midnight on spring one that way they can make all of the uh, wool and everything for us during that time hopefully it'll be good so now all of the fields that we have have had their pH levels enhanced. Now, it's time to put some nitrogen in the ground. How do I get back to the main farm from here? Not nitrogen, sorry, <laughs> we're gonna seed. In order to get some seed, let's go back to the same place. How's about that? Let's open this up. We do have the hopper for this thing, so we do not want fertilizer. I think we have to hit this way, way sooner. Let's see, let's back up a little bit. All right, helper Sarah has completed their task. I never hired a worker. Seeds, there we go. All right, we'll fill them up. 2,200 bucks in seeds. We've already spent 10 grand in this video alone. Let's go ahead and fill or uh, cover that up. Just, as a matter of fact, 
let's go get that over there. Let's hit this field. Again, canola is going everywhere. We could do grass over here. Oh, I forgot to plow everything up in those fields, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Oh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Um, I mean, I guess we don't have to do it right now, but we're gonna have to do it eventually. Um, should we do grass in this field and just do our normal crops in the other one so we don't have to drive over here? This is a decent sized field after all. I mean, it's about the same size, maybe a little bit smaller in field 44, 45, something like that. Oof. See, my frame rate doesn't like this area that much, I'll tell you that. Check this out. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. Plow that up, mow it, maybe do grass over here, and then just our main crops over here. Man, I think that's the thing. Also, this is real jittery. I gotta fix this. Yeah, it didn't fix it at all. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that, man. I think we're gonna do grass over here. Let's drop it down. Let's double check, make sure that our speedy is on. Speed is good. Go ahead and drop that. Turn it on and go. We should be able to hit a decent speed with this. We are not going to hit a max speed of 32 by any means with this, but I think we're gonna do okay, at least for now. It'll also give us something to aim for when we're looking to buy our next tractor, which hopefully will be in year two, but you never know. Um, I don't know how long we're gonna stick with New Holland either. We may stick with New Holland for the entirety. You never know. Also, the combine that we have gives you room to grow as well. I always said that the T, uh, was it not a T, the uh, T, T, no. Man, what, what did I have? The CR690. This will go all the way from 333 horsepower, which we have in it right now, all the way up to like 500 and some, which is way more than anybody needs. So I was, and I've mentioned in previous videos, especially in the most recent update to that, hey, you know, if you need something that you could buy cheap, like 200 and some grand right off the bat, and then down the road, upgrade it and have this massive engine, you could get a, uh, a much longer or, or much, uh, yeah, it's a longer pipe on there. Get a longer pipe on there and then, you know, get a bigger header. You've got tons of upgrade potential. Why do I keep missing stuff? You've got tons of upgrade potential with that one combine. I mean, so I decided to take my own advice and went with that combine. Cool, all right, so we got some stuff here. Let's go through, let's plant, and we'll move on. Cool, so the grass field's done. Uh, we don't have to do that anymore ever. Nice, all right. So it looks like we should have enough seed to do the rest of the stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and refill on that just in case, and literally everything else is going to be canola. That is right, we're gonna do everything else in canola. Probably gonna surprise a lot of you guys going, DJ, you're not gonna you're not gonna do oats and grass? No, we're doing canola and grass this time around. Uh, but that way we make as much money as possible. Remember, you don't, oh, we, that's crash counter. We don't always have to do things to do things because we do the things. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go over here and let's do some things to like three more fields and then we should be done. We're rocking along to a good, this actually taken much longer than I was expecting it to take. So what we've got is this bad boy right here is getting some planting done, which we're happy about that, putting canola in the ground, doing good. But what we need to do is we need to go ahead and take this and we need to get fertilizing because we're kind of wasting time just doing one thing right now. So let's open this bad boy up. Let's come over here. Let's fill up with fertilizer. There we go. Perfect, got it. Also, that's a little bit heavy. We might need to wait. So let's get just something small. Like, uh, see, this is 3,200 liters. So that weighs like 3,000, something like that. I don't, I don't know how much that weighs, but we're gonna go down here. We're gonna get ourselves a weight. And I don't think we need to get anything big, nothing crazy. Let's actually spin ourselves all the way down to the very end and then come back forward. So these are the ones that I like to use. Actually, this is what we have right now. We have a 900 uh, kilogram weight. We may just go with that. 1200 may be better for our other tractor, but I don't I don't think we need that much. I think 900 is gonna be just fine. Let's go with the same setup. Let's go with an onyx color and the other one's yellow. So let's go with the red one. This is a red tractor, right? There we go, we'll buy that. And it should be right down here. Got ourselves a pretty weight. Nice. Went with the yellow. I just I decided against the red. I just wasn't digging it. So we're gonna go with this instead. Also, uh, yes, I don't know what in the world's going on with the computer again. It's it was 
tweaking out earlier. It's tweaking out again now. If I go slow, it's fine, but that's... Farm Sim's not slow. It's a fast-paced game. It's also not optimized very well either, so that may be the issue. Let's go in. Let's a uh, activate automatic application rate, which it is already activated. Uh, this is going to come out pretty quick, but we're going to be able to put it down fast as well. Helper Andy is blocked by an object. All right, dummy. It's a tree. Come on, man. All right, here's the deal. We have a lot going on. There's there's so much happening over here on the farm, and we are way past our bedtime. So what I'm going to do is I think... This is going to be where we call it, at least for today. Uh, we will be back here in a few days. Uh, assuming if you're watching the day this releases, should be releasing on a Sunday. I'm going to try and get the next video out on Tuesday. As you know, we live stream on Mondays and Wednesdays, so we're going to try and do these videos on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Why not Friday, you may ask? We're at the Farm Sim Show, baby! I'm Sim Show, baby. All right, is that annoying? I think so. All right, let's do the outro and let's get out of here. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the show if you do, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel with Let's Plays back on the channel. Let's go. I'll be sent. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.